Are you looking for the best Chromebooks? In this video, we will look at some of the four best Chromebooks on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Acer Chromebook Spin 714. This Chromebook may not look that special, but there's a lot of power hiding underneath its aluminum hide. It's also remarkably tough. It's MIL Spec Standard 810G tested, which means it can handle drops and other physical shocks. If you need to take a computer to a building site, this is the one I'd take. Powered by an 8th generation 1.7 GHz Intel Core i5-1235U CPU, the Spin 714 delivers the performance you need. The model I tested also came with 8GB of RAM, with 256GB NVMe PCI SSD memory. The graphic chip powered a decent 14-inch HDTV 1920x1080 touchscreen. It's on the dim side, but this is a Chromebook for work, not watching Avengers Endgame. With a 720p webcam, you won't be making any movies yourself, but it works just fine for video conferencing. The keyboard is solid and works well with my press hard typing style. The Corning Blast trackpad also worked well. But, with weight and the screen aside, this is a sturdy, fast, and powerful Chromebook. And, for a price of $729, it's well worth the money. Number 2. Acer Chromebook 715. Don't let the close numbers fool you, this is an entirely different kind of Chromebook. The 715's target audience is accountants, spreadsheet mavens, and anyone else who spends their day pounding in numbers on a 10 key. This Chromebook is one of the few that comes with a 10 key dedicated numeric keypad. Or, as my significant other CPA says, this, this is what I need. The first thing you'll notice when you unbox this bad boy is it's a big Chromebook. There are bigger ones, but weighing in at 3.8 pounds and with dimensions of 14.4 by 9.8 by 0.7 inches, this notebook is a laptop bag filler. That's to make room for its larger than usual keyboard. This keyboard also comes with an embedded fingerprint reader. The keyboard, as you'd expect for its intended users, has good play and a clicky feeling I quite liked. The Corning Blast touchpad was always comfortable to use. Under the keyboard, on the Acer Chromebook 715 I tested, you'll find an 8th Gen Intel Core i5-8350U processor running at 1.7 GHz. On the CRXPRT benchmark, it registered a Zippy score of 90. This model includes 16GB of RAM, 64GB of flash storage, and an Intel UHD Graphics 620 GPU. The 620 GPU backs up a 15.6-inch, 1920x1080 display. While the screen real estate is ample for spreadsheets, like its 714 brother, the display is rather dull. The 720p webcam comes with a wide-angle lens, but it didn't work that well for me. This is not a Chromebook for video, it's for number crunching. By Chromebook standards, it has a decent number of ports. Once more, on the left, there's a USB 3.1 Type-C port, a USB 3.1 Type-A port, and a headphone jack. The right side has a micro SD card reader and another USB 3.1 Type-C port. Again, though, one of those Type-C ports must be used to power the laptop. The 715's 56 watt hour WH per cell lithium ion battery proved good for just over 10 hours. More than enough time to get that spreadsheet into the boss. This Chromebook is dedicated to those who make their living from mastering numbers, whether you're an Excel expert or a master of QuickBooks. For those users, it's worth its list price of $749.99. It's hard to find, but you may be able to find it for less. For serious number crunchers, it's worth the search. Number 3. Dell Latitude 5400 Chromebook. HTTPS colon slash slash amzn dot to slash 42L6XEQ. The Dell Latitude 5400 Chromebook provides the perfect blend of performance and value. The 14-inch HD display ensures you'll be able to work without squinting. And when you take a break, you'll be able to enjoy the crystal clear resolution while streaming your favorite shows and movies. Under the hood, it features Intel Celeron 4305U processor and an integrated Intel UHD Graphics 610 with DisplayPort over Type-C, sure, it's probably a mouthful to say, 
but this baby delivers stunning graphics to make work a little more fun. It also has capable memory with 4GB and a hard drive containing 64GB. And if you need ample ports, this Chromebook delivers with 8 different options, including a USB Type-C, HDMI, audio jack, and much more. Meanwhile, its lightweight at 3.24 pounds makes it the perfect traveling companion. Overall, the Dell Latitude 5400 is an excellent option to consider. Number 4. Google Pixel Book Go. Until Dell came along, Google pretty much held the monopoly on high-end Chromebooks such as the i7-powered Pixelbook. While Google is still selling Pixelbooks for those who want all the power they can get, Google's newest Chromebooks are the lower-powered and lower-priced Pixelbook Go series. While fast enough for most work, the Google Pixelbook Go I reviewed with its low-wattage 1.3GHz Core i5-8200Y processor came in with the lowest CRXPRT score of the four I tested with 83. The body of my black Pixelbook Go has a magnesium alloy lid with the underside base featuring a ribbed easy-to-grip design. This makes the Go difficult to drop. And, speaking as someone who busted a laptop or two due to falls, this is a good thing. At 2.3 pounds and 12.2 by 8.1 by 0.5 inches, it's also very light. The model I tested came with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 128 gigabytes SSD, and a 13.3-inch touch display of 1920 by 1080 pixels. To power the display, it uses Intel UHD 615 graphics. The Corning Concord glass screen is very nice. With the 615 powering it, it's bright and renders colors much better than its rivals. This is the one Chromebook I looked at that I'd enjoy watching a movie on. The Pixelbook Go's 1080p webcam is also superior. I'd have no qualms about zooming with coworkers with this setup. The keyboard, on the other hand, doesn't have a lot of travel. I could work on it, but I'd prefer pounding on the keys on one of the other models. The touchpad, though, worked just fine for me. The ports, or rather the lack of them, is another matter. All you get is a single USB Type-C port and headphone jack on the left and another USB-C port on the right. That's it. To charge up your Pixelbook Go, you'll also need to use one of those USB-C ports. Still, when it comes to battery life, the Go's a champ. With a 4-cell, 47WH battery it delivered 11 and a half hours of useful life. It beat the others easily. That's not just a benchmark result. Back when I was still flying to Europe on business before the pandemic, I could work all the way from Atlanta to Barcelona without a charge. So, for me, the Go is the ideal Road Warrior Chromebook. Fast enough to be useful and with a great screen, it just keeps going and going and going. The Pixelbook Go model I looked at isn't cheap at $999. But, since I used to do a lot of business travel and eventually will again I bought this Chromebook for my personal and professional use.